Lincoln Keeler, Creston Orient Maxburg, sectional champion. Uh, Lincoln, a strong showing for you guys as a team today as well. Just your thoughts on how today went? Oh, yeah, yeah, we did really good. Um, um, I don't think I wrestled my best as a, a sing, like as an in, individual, but uh, I mean, districts next week, we'll go get them next week and uh, hopefully make the state tournament. What was it uh, about your day that you felt like maybe wasn't at its best? Um, I was, I, I couldn't get my shot set up. Uh, all the kids I wrestled, both the kids I wrestled were really strong and really good defense and had a really good offense too. I mean, they're both good kids. Um, I just got to get my shot set up, get some better, and get enough, more shots. Your finals match with Brandon Earp from Red Oak, I'm sure you guys are kind of familiar with each other up to this point. What was it that allowed you to prevail? Um, uh, I don't know. We've seen each other at a couple tournaments, but I've never really – we haven't wrestled. We haven't really met at, in, in any tournaments, but uh, I just wrestled me and – be strong and physical and that's what got me there and came on top. What about the team performance today? Uh, we all did a great. Uh, I know there's some outcomes that some guys really didn't like but uh, we, overall we did really good as a team winning the sectional but it's not our main goal. We're further down the road we want to be dual champs, state tournament and stuff. But. Mentioned regional duels Tuesday night. Uh, how do you guys try to attack that? Um, we got a really good tall lineup. Uh, it'll be, it'll, who, no matter who we wrestle, it'll be tough. But we got a really good, really good program, and we're really f faithful in what we do. So we'll get it done. All right, Matt Beam, Glenwood, dominant showing today. Matt, you're moving on to districts. Just your thoughts on the day? Uh, I had a pretty good day. I mean, I scored more points than the other guy, and. Uh, Took and took to him a couple of scramble positions, but really, other than that, I wrestled okay. Yeah, it seemed like you were you were really comfortable on your feet. You were also comfortable scrambling. Uh, just kind of from your vantage point, what was it that was working today? Oh, a little bit of anything. Taking what's there. Uh, don't really think much during the match. Just going out there and wrestling what I do and doing what I do. Take us through your finals match. Uh, I knew that I could beat the kid, and I knew I needed to stay on my feet and take him down. And the, when the takedowns happen, I'd be able to turn him and put him to his back and possibly get the pin. Freshman year, uh, how would you assess the way things have gone up to this point? Uh, you know, it, it's gone pretty well. I missed half the season because of my broken wrist. But other than that, yeah, I'm starting to get to my point, old self. Districts next week, uh, one step closer to state. How do you, how do you try to attack it? Uh, one day at a time. Got to keep going. Got to keep my mind focused. Anything you're going to try to work on between now and next week? Uh, no, not really. Just a little bit of everything. Kill Downey of Clorinda, sectional champion at 138. Kale, one step closer to getting back to the state tournament. Just your thoughts on today? I uh, felt like I wrestled pretty good. And you're ready for next week. Another matchup with, with Garen Worcester of Creston Orient Maxburg. You guys have, are pretty familiar with each other. Uh, you know, what's it like? when you, you wrestle somebody that you're, you're pretty comfortable wrestling against? Just watching film, knowing what they do and what works against them. Seemed like what was really working for you today was being able to get to the legs, particularly the double leg. Is that something that you kind of emphasize day in and day out, or, or what is it offensively you try to get to? Just knowing what I like to do and what I'm comfortable with. And if there's anything you feel like you really need to work on from between now until districts, what is it? Uh, probably working on top. Uh, could take him down pretty good, but couldn't hold him down very long. State qualifier last year, so you go into districts this year, maybe a little bit more of, of what to expect or what's the mindset? Uh, just take it one match at a time. Nothing's guaranteed. Just have fun. Bradley Hayes, Creston Orient Maxburg, 160 pound champion today. Uh, Bradley, a strong showing for your guys as a team as well. Just uh, your reaction from today? Yep. Uh, well, everybody wrestled really good today. We had a few that maybe didn't turn out how we planned, but we wrestled pretty strong and planned to keep it going. What's this team been like? It's got to be fun to be a part of. Oh, yeah, it's, it's fun. We got, a, we got a hard working program. Everybody in the room always works hard, and it's finally paying off now, and we hope to keep paying off over time. Season goes on. 
Talk about your season up to this point. In what ways do you feel like maybe you've improved throughout the course of the year? Yeah, I started off slow the season, beginning of the season, which maybe didn't go as I wanted it to. So I started working a little harder in the room and started racking up those wins and it finally paid off tonight. Yeah, your finals match with Sander Hayes at Glenwood, I think he was up on you early. You're able to get the fall. Uh, what did you see there? Yeah, well, he took me down at the beginning, but I didn't really let that bother me. So he picked down and I uh, managed to lock the cradle up and put him away. Talk about your offense tonight. What was it that was really gelling? I really just couldn't get my offense going tonight, but you know, it, some nights it's just not how I want it to be. So you know, you just got to work around it and find a way to find a way to win. Districts next week, you gotta do them in your own gym as well. Uh, what do you need to work on, maybe until then, to, to get ready and maybe make a run at state? Yep, I got to get my offense going. You know, uh, got to get a little quicker on my feet and uh, stay out of bottom. Stay at the bottom as much as I can. All right, Mitch Mayberry, 182-pound champion here today, 2A sectional. Uh, Mitch, you keep your season alive, dominant performance. Your thoughts on today? Honestly, the uh, I was just looking forward to my finals match, seeing how I could do against those big, good kids who dropped from 95 and just tried to wrestle my match and see where I was at and found out where I was. Yeah, you mentioned that match. You took on Cole Ridner of Clarinda, a very talented wrestler, making the, the move down. Uh, did you have any idea kind of, of of what to expect going into that match? Uh, I've had a couple matches with him when I was younger, and freshman year was the last time we wrestled. We didn't meet last year. He wrestled CJ at 170, and I was 82. So I kind of figured he wouldn't change much but aside, besides the size. And I just watched some film of him and CJ, knew what he was going to do, and kind of prepared and expected it. Yeah, things escalated really quickly, it felt like, in that match. Uh, take us through it. Uh, right away, I knew I was just going to have to start faking my shots because the way his stance was and what he was doing. And when I saw an opportunity, I just kind of went for it and got into a little bit of a scramble. Which I like to think I'm kind of funky enough to scramble. It's just kind of did it. Yeah, is that something that, that you practice a lot, kind of putting yourself in, in weird situations and not only doing that, but being able to capitalize out of them? Sometimes they just happen. I mean, I'm a big, tall lanky kid and some funk lots of funk happens so it's kind of got to send what comes to you districts next week uh you come into it this week maybe with a little bit more of what to expect than last year yeah the i've already wrestled one of the kids who are i'll have next week at sectionals the kid who won it this year once so i know what to expect and probably what's going to happen there anything you're going to try to hone in on over the next week just living more of a, our coach mentioned to us living a championship lifestyle this week and I need to get my sleeping and eating and everything to a par for this week so I can be better next weekend. All right, crew, another dominant day. Um, make another step towards your ultimate goal headed to districts. Just your thoughts on the day? Uh, it was a good day. It was a good day for us as a team and for me personally, I got two wins and that's what I had to do to move on. What was it that really worked for you today offensively? Um, just getting to my single legs and then on top my bar, which is what I usually go to. Kind of the, the same stuff, just trying to make it more precise every week and getting better. We're now at the point where it's it's kind of win or go home. I mean, I, I'm sure you're really confident in your abilities, but but one slip and it could be over. Uh, does that kind of amp the way you attack things, or what does it do? Um, I try not to change how I wrestle. I try to wrestle everyone the same. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you get a little more. You, you maybe tighten things down a little bit, but... Otherwise, I just try to wrestle the way I wrestle and keep going. Districts next week, uh, what are you going to try to do between now and then? You guys could be busy Tuesday night as well, but what do you try to do between now and then to, to be wrestling your best? Um, I'm going to try to just uh, keep training hard um, in the room. Coach Bevins always has us going hard, you know, uh, fixing the little things that need fixed, and that's just what I plan to do. All right, Coach, I think it was six champions, seven, I don't remember, ten qualifiers, though. Got to be pleased the way today went. Yeah, I mean, ten ten's a good number, you know. As a coach, your your mind always goes the four that didn't make it, and and uh, we were we were really close to have more than ten. So, but you know, we'll, we'll take the number we got, roll with it, and, and uh, go to regionals Tuesday night. What's it been like to watch the progression of this team throughout the year? I, I don't know that maybe at the start of the year a lot of people would have pegged this. You guys have having the success that you've had, but I mean, you've had it. Yeah, it's been it's been a wonderful ride. I mean, 
I, I've said all on to the kids, I don't think our finished product, it may not be here till sectionals. Uh, our lineup, we've had guys in and out. Fortunately, we've had a lot of depth. You know, if we did have any positive tests or injuries or whatever the case may be, we've had enough depth to kind of move on and, and throw somebody, in else, somebody else in that can compete. So it's, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. What do you feel maybe were some of the highlights today for you guys? Um, you know, the, I think we had seven champions, so I mean that's that's something to build on. I mean, half the weights, and we were able to uh, be champions there, and a couple of them we came from behind. So um, we got a chance to get a lot through, and we need a good week of practice. You mentioned regional duels Tuesday night. You guys get a host. Don't know who you'll be hosting or anything, but how do you guys try to get ready for those, and then get ready for districts as well, which you're also hosting? Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have something tomorrow, uh, something in the morning, and uh, get them ran through the room and weight room tomorrow, and then and then have a good practice Monday uh, Monday night. And, uh, be ready to go find out who we got tonight and we'll do a little homework on, on who it is so